Can we really build an engine that runs only on water? It's a fascinating idea, but physics says otherwise. According to the law of conservation of energy, you can never get more energy out than you put in. Water isn't a fuel. It's already the final product after hydrogen has burned with oxygen. To use it as a fuel, you'd first need to split its molecules back into hydrogen and oxygen, a process that requires more energy than you could ever recover. In other words, a water-only engine violates the most fundamental laws of physics. But there is a real technology that comes surprisingly close to the dream of clean, endless motion, the Stirling engine. Invented in 1816, it works by heating and cooling a sealed gas, causing it to expand and contract, which drives a piston. It can use almost any heat source and operates with a remarkably high efficiency compared to traditional combustion engines. It's quiet, produces no pollution, and can run for hours with nothing but a gentle heat source. So why don't we use Stirling engines everywhere today? The answer lies in their slow response time and high manufacturing cost. They're excellent at turning steady heat into motion, but they can't change power output quickly, making them less practical for cars, planes, or devices that need rapid bursts of energy. In industry, the cheaper and more compact internal combustion engine won the race, even if it's less efficient. If you enjoyed this fact, hit like, subscribe, and share.